freaking emu running across my lawn. Oh my god, where's he going? Oh my god, wait, Mr. Emu, come back. I got him. Oh, sh wait, 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 wait. Wait, Mr. Emu, wait. I wish I had an ATV right now. I got an emu. Yeah, baby, I got an emu. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, are you kidding me right now? All right, so I can't find my dog, but there's a freaking emu running across my lawn. Dude, what are you doing? Wait, wait, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere, Mr. Emu. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Mr. Emu. Wait, Mr. Emu, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Emu, what are you doing here? Mr. I can't make this up. What's going on right now? An emu just ran out of my woods. Oh my god, look at this emu. Look at this emu. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> I, I, you can't make this up right now. I'm looking for my dog. And there's an emu on my lawn. Oh my god, where's he going? Oh my god. Wait, Mr. Emu, come back. Yeah, he's going on my secret trail. <laughs> Mr. Emu. Mr. Emu, wait. Mr. Emu. I might have to catch this emu, guys. I think it's my neighbor's emu. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. I might have to catch this guy. Come on, don't, no, 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 stay. Stay with me, Mr. Emu, come here. Come here. Oh my god, it's even strong! Woo! There he is. There's a fence, he can't get by. Got him! I got him! Oh shit! Wait, mister! Wait, mister Emu! No, no! Oh. I gotta save this emu, guys. Uh, oh, Mr. Emu, come back! Uh, oh, oh, this is the longest chase ever. Oh, he's got open ground now. He's tired. Wait, Mr. Emu. Wait. I'm out of breath. Wait. Woo. Hold up. Stay right there, dude. Wait, 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 wait! Wait, Mr. Emu, wait! Go slower. Go back to my house, it's safer. The neighbors don't want to get exotics. I wish I had an ATV right now. He looks a little injured on the head. Oh my god. I didn't think I'd be vlogging today. We gotta get him safely. Gotta figure out how to grab him while also doing a video. It's okay, Mr. Emu. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Mr. Emu, wait! Oh, shit. My dog's missing. And I've been chasing this dinosaur for 30 minutes. Oh my god, I gotta catch him. I can see he's getting tired. He's not as good stamina as me. <sighs> Alright guys, I caught the emu. I'm sorry buddy. I, whoa, 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 They're super strong. He's a little beat up on his head from barbed wire. He must have got around my neighbor's corral. I'm going to try and get back to my house safely. Beautiful Australian bird that's farmed out here in America. But uh, he's my neighbor's pets. And uh, he got away. He looks like a beat up old dude. I gotta figure out how to lift them up and bring them back over. I'm sorry, dude. Look at this giant field I just chased him across. Oh my God. Oh. Welcome to Florida. Give your neighbors a hand. It's funny because my neighbors were worried about me losing animals. Now I'm helping them catch theirs. This is gonna be very difficult. Oh. I really don't want to get kicked. Oh. I got it. 
I got him. I'm just holding his feet so I don't get kicked. Look at his massive feet. Holy smack. I'm gonna smack your guts out. Look at that claw. All right. I got his feet. I got him. He's just so strong. Uh, oh, he's, I, got, I got an emu. Yeah, baby, I got an emu. All right, let's go, Frank. Oh my God. All right, guys. I've walked halfway through this field with this emu. I've got his legs bundled up so I don't get my guts kicked out. But I've walked already across like half of this field and this emu weighs like over a hundred pounds. They've been feeding him well. I got all these cows staring at me now. I, I'm pretty sure they're all friendly cows. They've never tried to charge me at the gate, but now that some of these bigger bulls are stepping closer and closer. Don't worry, it's just a big Australian bird that doesn't fly. I bring you back to this beautiful fluffy image of my mullet and my fluffy emu friend blowing in the wind to tell you that not long after filming my last couple of scenes, my phone had died, I could not call for help, and I was stuck in the field for an hour screaming. Help, Bera, come, help, Bera, come. My dog did not come. I yelled to my neighbors, they did not come. I got across the whole 39 acres, I got to the road. I finally was hugging an email on the side of the road. I waved down at least six neighbors. Not one single neighbor stopped except for my savior, Sophia. Sophia, if you're listening to this video, I love you. Thank you for putting me in the back of your Subaru with my email friend and taking us to his right of honor. Now, enjoy me catching the second emu, because after I caught the first emu, I learned that there were four more emus loose. So, enjoy the video. He is something else. He's amazing. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Wow. Maybe it ain't so bad having Chandler in the neighborhood. It well, I'm cool with him. Got my <laughs> me too. Same. He does or he might have to. I think you're stepping on his uh, the lasso. It's okay. It's okay. Right. There we go. Oh, you good? Yeah, yeah, he's just so strong. Alright. World star. I still need that for Zeters. I'm Come filming. Come on, closer. <laughs> Welcome to Fort Pierce, Florida. I'm here with the local deputies and Roger, our, our local emu farmer. We caught this emu out in the field. And now we're just trying to get him back home because he's a little lost right now. But uh, he kicks, so let's make sure we get him. All right. The key to working with emus is don't get kicked in the guts. Treat it like a cassowary. They got big toenails. They can cut you wide open. So you got to make sure you secure the feet, even though he is extremely strong. Oh. Go. You want to cover his head or no? Yeah, let's cover his head. Come loose. Come closer to me. Just cover his head. Oh my God. Hold on to his head and cover it. Ah, got it. Okay. Ah. Oh my God. Oh. Are you on time now? We're not gonna time now. We're gonna do some more. Okay. Uh, watch out, watch out. His feet are kicking. Her, yeah. Is his foot yep. loose? Um, no. no. Uh, yeah, that's what, that back watch out, watch out. His feet are loose. And his feet's and his head's coming out. <laughs> Where's his back foot? His back foot is here under your leg. Kind of Come close. Here. Don't be afraid. His legs are kind this is what Nat Geo is all about, baby. Oh, oh. Watch, out. watch out, guys. Watch out. Push me. Push me down. Push me down. Push me down. Watch your butt. Uh, Hold the help of a local officer. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Support your local deputy department. Look will be there when an emu's kicking your ass. <laughs> All right, let's get this emu back home. So uh, 
I've got a little emu experience. I've worked at the alligator farm. We had a couple. I've been to Australia, chased them around a little bit, but never would I have thought I'd be running around the wilderness of Florida with my neighbors trying to catch an emu. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you. <sighs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how beautiful he is. He's just gassed out right now. He had a lot of running trying to avoid me. <laughs> but now he's back home. He's gonna go back into his corral that just got fixed up. And uh, my lovely emu neighbors. I'm glad I got to meet them this way. <laughs> All right, guys, my back really hurts. Uh, we caught both emus. And then after catching the first emu, I found out that there's actually four emus that got out, so. I'll keep my eyes peeled for my neighbor and try to find the rest of these emus. Let this be a message to all the neighbors that were worried about me when I moved in, worrying about my animals getting out. I'm an ally, as you can see. So uh, last time I checked, uh, <coughs> I was the only one, only neighbor out here trying to help out. So uh, neighbor of the year goes to me in Fort Pierce, baby. And I was talking to the officers and I think I'm gonna get deputized now. So take that, take that. Me and my crocs are here to stay. And the emus are back over that way. God, my back hurts. I didn't know emus would weigh so much. I've never tried to lift an emu and walk it across a 39 acre farm field before, but damn, my back feels tight. This is, this is what it must be like to be Australian. The mullet's flowing, running after an emu and shortcut boots, you know, it's just, Florida's second best to Australia. You gotta admit. All right, beautiful people, back to your typical viewing uh, foot uh, reptiles. Let's go back to reptiles now, I guess. All right, beautiful people. We're in the snake house now. Thought while we're dealing with Australian animals, we go check out the Australian wildlife we got in the Serpentarium. Little Steve the Taipan, an Australian species only found in Australia, the inland Taipan. This is drop for drop, the most venomous snake on the planet. And he finally shed out his skin. He's grown like crazy. He's already, he's already probably tripled in size since we've gotten him. Can't let you guys see my secret code. Every venomous snake cage has to be locked. So let's get that whoop, unlocked and, and unsecure. There we go. So what we want to do is just take out that skin that he shed, give him some fresh water. I would love to look at him as well, because look how beautiful he is. He's such a cool little snake. Let me see if I can get him out for a second. I'm real slow and methodical. I could get him up on the hook. Look at that. He's a little beast. Look how beautiful he is. Ooh, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Careful little Taipan. Look at that beautiful orange yellow belly. These guys are so beautiful. Look at his coloration. He's gotten so big since we've gotten him. When we first got him, he was probably less than half the size and super skinny. He was like a little noodle. Now look at him. One day he's gonna be seven feet long. Inland Taipan, drop for drop, the most venomous snake on the planet. And we've got this beautiful shed right here from little Stevie. Let me reach in on this side away from him. See what the shed looks like. Nice big shed. It might be a whole shed actually. Ooh, look at that whole tie pan shed. I'll keep that for a guest that comes to visit one day. We'll put that off to the side for right now. I'm gonna put his hide right back and we're gonna get him some fresh water. Gets hydrated. There we go. And now let's check out the little indigo. I still don't know what to name this indigo. A lot of you guys have been thinking of great names. This was a gift from Justin. And this indigo comes from Texas. Let me see where's that. Oh. This indigo comes from Texas, so it's really, really cool. Everything in Texas is bigger. Let's let's check this guy out. Look at this. He actually popped out of his skin. He's got a fresh shed going on. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Fresh shed ready to go. I'm just gonna toss that. Let's see what he looks like, because I haven't seen him. All I've seen him is in a shedding state, so he's been pretty dull. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He escaped. No, he's right there. Ooh, look at him. Ooh, look at that. He's so cute. What's up, dude? He's gonna get a much bigger setup. He's just in this temporary little tub right now. Ooh, he's looking so good. He's nice and clean looking. Texas indigos typically have this brown look to them, that tan look around their face and their belly, while the Eastern indigo is either a solid black or it's got like a red chin. But look at that beautiful Texas indigo. Comment below, what do you guys think we should name him? I'm thinking Big Tex, that's a good name. All right, let's get him right back into this little tote for now. He's gonna get a nice enclosure pretty soon. We just got so much going on. As you can see, the murals are up now. Look at this, we got murals everywhere. We've got vipers, we got cobras, we got waggers, pit vipers, we got bush vipers, we got crates, we got everything up on the walls. It's looking good. And where it's not painted right here, this is where the giant king cobra cages are gonna be. So check it out, come look at this. 
there's a mark right over here for 14 feet. This will be the front of the King Cobra cage. So check this out, this whole space, eight feet tall, which is that high, this will all be King Cobra cage. I can't wait for that to happen. I can't wait to walk inside the enclosures and bring the King Cobras right up to the glass so you can have the world's longest venomous snake right up in your face. It's gonna be so cool. All right, beautiful people. All I gotta say now is uh, if you lift an emu, lift with your knees, not your back, damn it. Oh, they're heavy. Everyone be careful out there when you're lifting your emus. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check us out on chandlerswildlife.com where you can get your own merch, baby. Support the build out of this giant, beautiful private facility for conservation. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams and stay passionate about what you guys love. I love animals. And when I see an animal running away on my property, I want to run it down and chase it. Old man. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. I just got a phone call that there's an emu in my neighbor's lawn and I, I'm going to go help him out. I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys and uh, stay fit and do your cardio because you never know when you have to chase an emu down. I can see he's getting tired. He's not as good stamina as me.